they talk. Um, people are reading. People are sometimes coming up with fun games to play that, that actually use the, the environment of microgravity. And Mark has a few ideas. I don't want to throw him under the bus, but he's actually really good at, at finding out good, good fun ideas to do in weightlessness. Um, so really, there's a, there's a lot that, that you could do. Obviously, uh, it's a confined environment, so you don't go out for a walk uh, not so often. But, but everything that we can do, and we're trying to make use of that environment to do things that you cannot do on Earth, like double backflips, um, <laughs> and, uh, and we practice this on the weekend. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to get in trouble with sharing this game, but we, uh, we played a game with the previous crew where, as you can see, the space station is really long. There's a long path through here. And I called it human darts because we would have somebody push off the front end of the space station and try to see how far they could go before they make contact with any surfaces. And uh, some people were really impressive. They got you have to be very, very precise and do a lot of gyrations as you're trying to avoid making contact <laughs> with anything. Um, that was a lot of fun. Like Shane just demonstrated quite well, even though he didn't even know he was playing. Well done, Shane. Well, I'm impressed here. I think that's a game I would like to try sometime, you know, down the road, maybe when we all get out in space. But one of the, the things that we always talk about here on Weather Nation is the difference we're going to make for the Artemis generation and for the next decades to come with the Space Exploration Program. What do you hope that on your current mission they can take to put toward going to the moon and eventually going to Mars? It's a, it's a great question, and, and uh, it, is, it is true that uh, we have, so we're doing science and research on the space station that benefit the Earth, and this is, this is uh, like part of our goals, but we have, we have also bigger goals, longer term goals, and, uh, and one of them is to go forward to the moon and go to Mars. Um, and for that, we have a wide array of experiments that we're doing as well to prepare experiments in tech demo to prepare those missions. Uh, one of them that I was doing not so long ago in the, in the Columbus Laboratory um, is about, again, how do you pilot a spacecraft or a rover on a distant planet? Like you would be orbiting in a space station or in a spacecraft around the planet and remote controlling some assets on the ground. This is one of the scenarios for future exploration. And we're preparing this uh, today on board the space station. How about for you, Mark? Um, actually, even understanding how to have the human body perform well after being in orbit for months at a time is part of the experiment to be, for us to be able to f explore further and further into the solar system. We, we have the benefit of returning to Earth and having medical support as soon as we return. But of course, it's very important in the future that when people get to places where they're establishing human presence for the first time, that they, we understand how they'll be able to perform after a really long trip in an environment probably smaller than this, but certainly with the, the uh, uh, same type of free fall environment that we're in here. Um, even little, we've got the regenerative systems that we're using all the time um, that help us recycle all of our water. Uh, Tomah mentioned demonstrations. We're getting ready to install a new toilet that uh, should help us understand better um, how future systems or improved systems to use for future spacecraft. Hey, a better toilet benefits everybody, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Tomas and Mark, for joining us. We are very appreciative of everything that you and your teams are doing. And I don't know if you can go out with a double backflip if that's possible, but uh, we appreciate everything you showed and told us today. Thanks, Meredith. It was a pleasure uh, talking to you from the space station. And uh, we'll keep looking for those weather phenomena when we look outside the window. Thank you guys so much. Yes. <laughs> we appreciate it. Station with the Houston NCI. Thank you. That concludes our event. Thank you to all participants from Weather Nation. Station, we're now resuming operational audio communications.